You've saved our sorry asses, sir. Of that, there is no doubt. You've earned us a rare bit of rest, and that comes most welcome. You're right, soldier. You look drop dead weary. The dead don't sleep, do they? And me being asleep won't stop them coming. Your comrades think you're too scared to sleep. You should prove them wrong. I don't give five shites what they think. They may tend to their own duty while I tend to mine. Oh, bullshit outside. What's going on? Oh, what do you care? I have my problems and you have yours, so let me handle myself. I ain't important, and I don't deserve no help. Wasted time helping me anyway. You heard the man. He wants no help. I see no reason to force it on him. For now, at least. Peaceful watch to you. Right. Andrew's things. Where are you? Here. No, I'll keep looking. War poems. They ruined me. No, that's not his stuff. Banish a rule 92 by a man's thing, shall we know him? I think you've made that one up. Hmm, reward given to a brave soldier. I believe we found Andrew's things. This is our best lead yet. Maybe we missed something in the infirmary. Maybe. After that, we might look for his train band record. Mr. McGrath, Red, tis good to see you. How goes the day, Nurse Wings? As any other in the infirmary, long but good. Farewell, Nurse Wings. Farewell, and good health, sir. years is a long time to live haunted. The ghost is weak, fragile. But strong enough to stick around. What a way to live. Any idea who this ghost might be? You may know a soldier by his trail of dead. Could be anyone. Pretty empty armory. Looks like someone's been living in here.
a metal trinket to mark a life of sacrifice. I bet he'd rather have his sleep back. Can't change what's done. Time heals all. Or so I'm told. I'll talk to Andrew. I'll perk him up a bit. had your breakfast, friend. Anyway, greetings. I'm Antea Duarte. This here is Red McWraith. We're banishers. Now, who are you and what do you want? Are you the ghost haunting Andrew White? Is that a yes or a no? Who are you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? Ugh, mute ghosts take forever. This is pointless. We're hunting in the dark with no light and no spur. First, you have to find out what's keeping him from speaking. Andrew won't be much help. But if our friend here can't tell us what he wants, maybe he can show us. Do you want us to follow you? I think he wants us to follow him. He left stains. Clever. I'll keep an eye out so we don't lose them. This way. I'm reminded of one of my first cases. The ghost was mute because the person haunted refused to talk. So this one is mute because of Andrea? I don't know. Maybe. The ghost has something to show us. Over here. The ghost haunting Andrew seems weak. Drawing out the torture the better to enjoy it? Or holding itself back, afraid to feed too much? If mine had been so kind, maybe to slept night. I'm jealous. Don't be. These ones are the worst. Years, withering, decades even. It's a beautiful way to go. Die, you bastard! That's not... My friend the ghost could have shown us a safer route. Or he's just playing with her. He wants us to follow him. Spectral writing on the wall. See for yourself. Joshua Gouge, gone too soon. What's it going to say? Joshua Gouge, outstayed his welcome. So Joshua is not here for revenge.
Here, we can go on. Joshua looks kindly on Andrew. What were they to each other? Brothers in arms, man. You never feel as close to a mate as when you fight by his side. You fight for the man beside you, not for money, not for a king. For your mate. You have friends from the war. First I've heard of them. I lost contact. Maybe when this is over, I'll look them up. Most young men are taught to dream of war. And when they get there... He wants us to follow him. See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Voices from the dead ripple here. Shite! Two arms! Two arms! They waylay us! The right flank! Hold them off! Josh! Behind you! Good jump! Watch the big go! Help me! Nice to meet you again, Joshua. You want us to help Andrew White give up his guilt and get on with his life. Am I right? <sighs> we know you died fighting by his side. Is that why he feels guilty? Is this why you can't speak? been there. I'll do everything I can to help. <laughs> if help we can. Only these two could talk to each other. Joshua was not helping. He scared Andrew silent. Conversation over. There's a wall between these two and we must knock it down. I may be able to do that. Andrew failed to save his friend and blames himself for it. He shouldn't. Things are said and done. Shame is a queer bird. That shite doesn't wash off. None of this explains what binds the ghost here.
Good to see you living, sir. Keep it short, I'm on duty. You're not like this, but we must speak of Joshua. Where did you get that name? From his ghost. It's important we talk about him. Joshua requests it himself. He wants to take revenge. I know it. You're no wrong. He wants to give you freedom. He never blamed you. You blamed yourself. Why would he not seek revenge? He's due it. He doesn't see it that way. I... I shot him. I was trying to save him and I shot him. Hold on. How did this happen? We were skirmishing in the forest. Two Indian fellas bore down on Joshua. Dropped one, but the other had him cold. I was 20 yards away. I raised my musket. Pull the trigger. Bullet went straight through his skull. You took the medal, though, didn't you? I can't look at it. Bastard and thin as Josh's face on it. I, I don't deserve no pewter medal. I don't deserve nothing at all. I don't deserve to live. I don't want to live. I want to die. Please, please, put me out of my misery. What is it with you people wanting to die? Deadly serious now. You sure this is what you want? You're in no doubt? I'm certain. I can take it no more and do not want to. No. You survived. Now you must live. Just as you could not speak, Joshua, I don't think he can hear you. Sorry about this, Andrew. I wish it could have gone better for you. The war left me injured. The wounds were invisible, but mortal just the same. Oh, shit. They were not mortal. You live. Help him. Andrew, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. Why don't you answer? I told you. He won't hear it. He's made his choice. Now we make ours. Joshua Gouge, you've lingered in silence for too long. You can go. If I stay, perhaps he'll listen. We've done what we can. It's up to Andrew now. My friend, if only you could hear me. You think you own me? You don't? Farewell, Joshua. You've done your duty and more. Farewell, old friend. You may go. Thanks for your help. I'll not forget it.